Yo, what's up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's video, I'm going to do a Canon DPP tutorial about exposure. So last week I received this comment from Dev and Dev wants to know if there are any exposure options in Canon's DPP-4. So I thought I'm going to take two photos today, one very underexposed and one very overexposed, and we're going to try fix them up using Canon's Digital Professional 4. So without further ado, let's begin. Hi everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're looking at underexposed and overexposed photos in Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4. So I'm going to take two photos. One is very underexposed and one is very, very overexposed. And I'm going to try fix these photos using the tools available in DPP4. So let's go and see which tools actually allow us to set the exposure to its correct levels. So one thing to point out is it's very easy to correct an underexposed photo, whereas it's much more difficult to fix an overexposed photo because with overexposed photos you tend to lose some of the details so let us begin with the underexposed photo so i'm going to click on this photo to select it and then i'm going to click on the edit image button over here and here's our photo so the most obvious way to fix it is in this basic image adjustment panel and it's to increase the brightness so increasing the brightness quite a bit, as you can see, easily corrects the underexposed photo immediately. So this is one of the simplest ways to do this, but I'm going to undo this quickly and show you guys different ways to do this as well. So if I scroll down over here to my gamma adjustment option, you've got your histogram over here and it's got these three lines over here. So this first line symbolizes the low tones or the shadows. This is the mid tones and this is your highlights. So I'm going to focus on the mid tones now and as you can see, see my histogram is over here so I'm going to move this midline to the left hand side moving the midline to the left hand side increases the brightness for us so if I just move this slowly until I find a place where I think it looks the best maybe somewhere around there as you can see it's already fixed our underexposed photo and if I compare the before and after by clicking this button over here you can see it's fixed it quite a bit so I'm going to go back to my single view and I'm going to put this line back where it was to show you guys the third way of fixing this photo so the third way you've got to jump into the tab that's called adjust image tone curves so go ahead and click on that and over here you'll see the histogram opens up and it's got this line going across it and now I'm going to choose over here this luminance RGB button so this luminance button applies to the luminance or the lighting in the photo and what I'm going to do I'm going to drag this line in the middle somewhere here click on the middle and drag it towards the top left corner over here that should increase our brightness and fix our underexposed photo if I just keep on doing this you can go up to the left a little bit however you feel it looks good something like this maybe as you can see the light looks much better but now the boat's colors look a little bit off all you have to do is click on here this rgb rgb button over here and it brings back the colors as you can see now the underexposed photo looks properly exposed once again over here you've also got some brightness adjustments which you could play around with you could increase the brightness a little bit here to get this photo looking however you want it to look now once again if we go the before and after route you can see there's a major difference here so i'm going to undo all that because now we've gone through this and what we're going to do now is use all three of these tools to make this photo look the best that we can first off let's adjust the brightness a little bit maybe quite a lot actually so there we go i think the brightness is okay like this we can always adjust a few things down at the bottom now as you can see the floor of this photo where it was taken it's got this red curtain which reflected a little bit on this kind of shelf so i'm going to just lower the red color a little bit so i'm going to go into the fine tune and i'm going to move this dot away from the red color more towards the blue colder colors and what this will do, this will make this look more white and the blue more blue and not as red. It doesn't have this red tint in it anymore. And now what I can do is scroll down to my histogram, which as you can see, it's already moved a bit because we've adjusted the brightness. I can play around with this a little bit more, but probably don't want to adjust this too much. I think I'm going to leave it how it was. And what I'll do is I'll increase the contrast a little bit over here just to make it look a little bit more sharper. And I can increase the shadows a little bit. 
and I can actually increase the highlight a little bit as well. So increasing the highlight, maybe increase the saturation to give it some color back. And that looks good to me. So this now looks fixed. Uh, I'll jump into these curves as well, just to double check that it will look better if I pull this up a little bit. So this you've got to kind of play around with until you find a spot where you think it looks the best. I think it was actually all right. So we don't really need to adjust this at all. And then we jump back into our color one. And there we go. So now this photo looks good to me. If I go and do the before and after, you can clearly see that a very underexposed photo is now looking good. So I'm happy with this result. So I'm going to go back now. And as you can see, it keeps the result already here. So now we're going to jump into our severely overexposed photo and we're going to try and fix this photo up quickly. So let's go to edit image using the same techniques. I'm not going to explain them again. I'm just going to go through this to try and fix this overexposed photo. Now you will note that you will lose some detail because of the severe overexposure, but let's see what we can do. So firstly, we want to decrease the brightness a bit, maybe till around there we can always come back and adjust it afterwards this photo does it have a red tint not really it doesn't but let's just see if we bring it down a little bit and then we can scroll down over here to our histogram which is already moved a bit because we've done the brightness so the brightness actually moves the histogram so that's not going to help us much right now so over here we're going to increase the contrast let's bring the contrast up and let's bring the shadows up a little bit so the shadows bringing those up makes the curtain look a bit lighter and the boat itself but i'm going to decrease the highlights over here quite a bit if i decrease the highlights i might increase the contrast a bit again to bring some sharpness back let's try increase it one more time maybe not that's too much bring that down move the highlights a little bit down the shadows up a bit more no let's bring the shadows back how it was so this looks a bit better than it was when it was severely overexposed so if we have a look at the two now you can clearly see there's a big difference so now i'm going to jump back into the single view and now I'm going to go all the way up and go into my adjust images tone curves. And once again, I'm going to drag this bar here, but I'm going to go bottom right now to bring down the exposure. So now if we go bottom right, you can see the colors changing and it becomes a little bit more dull than it was. So if I bring it this way up, it overexposes it again. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here and I forgot to select luminance. There we go bring the light down and that looks a bit better now as you can see the this photo's got kind of like a blue tint now because it was very overexposed and now it's trying to recover some of these details but it's not perfect so one option is to go back into your basic image adjustment and kind of maybe remove some of the blue that we've tried to add let's see what happens if we go all around this board maybe it was actually better with more red than blue because then it kind of makes it look a bit more whiter there we go should we increase the brightness a little bit again? There we go. I think that looks kind of good. And if we do a before and after comparison one more time, that was the before and this is the after. So just like that, we've taken an over and exposed photo and brought it back to life. So I'm just going to go to the single image view. And as always, you can go down here and play around with the sharpness and contrast and kind of color saturation to get the photo exactly how you wanted it to look. And that's it for this tutorial. That's how you can fix underexposed and overexposed photos. I hope this helps you out and thank you for watching. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. If it did, as usual, do give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. And do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm going to try to release much more content in the future. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and goodbye. The credits have finished rolling and you're still here. Wow, now I wish I prepared something much cooler at the end. As usual, thanks for watching, catch you next time.